Uh, let's, let, let, me, let me do the clap. Okay, go. You in? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Got mine. Got my clap. You got yeah. yours? We're in Come here, on, bro. bro. We're in here. Quarantine, quarantine reviews. Quar- alien invasion reviews. Comparisons. Yep. There's not much we can do. We're not quite in the studio, but we are. But we're here. Yeah, bro. It's been a minute, bro. I miss bro. Hooper, bro. It's been too long. I miss hooping. Fam, what was your last bucket? What was your last bucket? My last bucket. Before the alien invasion. My last bucket was Friday before, the week before we went into quarantine. Yeah. Uh, my team, we had a, we had a run. And uh, I scored the game-winning bucket the last game. Well, so you, you went out in style then? Yeah, yeah. low-key. I think mine might be a, a, a rebound layup. That's about it. Rebound layup. I hear it. I hear uh, it. A dead layup. I think I like... I, hear I think it. I made it back to... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And yes, it's a little different because there's an alien invasion going on right now. So we're locked in our houses, not quite in the same studio. But we're here getting you that content regardless. Today we're comparing the Nike Kyrie 6 versus the Nike PG4s. Let's get it. The best thing about this video is that it's actually voted for by you guys over on our Instagram and our YouTube community page. Pure Kicks matchups is basically where we put together a few comparisons that you like and you guys voted for the Kyrie 6 to go up against the PG4. Keep an eye out on our Instagram and our community page for more coming up very, very soon. First and foremost, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. Hope you guys are doing well during this alien invasion. If you guys would like any of these shoes, make sure you check our description box below. Click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website or they will indeed take care of your basketball needs. Harry Irving and Paul George are some of the most dynamic scorers in the league. Those guys get buckets in some of the smoothest ways I have ever seen. Wow. But today, we're not talking about the hoopers themselves. Today, we're talking about the shoes that they hoop in. We have the Carry 6 versus the Nike PG4. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off with arguably the most important category, yes. the aesthetics. It's a PG-14. I'm not really down yeah. to argue. I don't particularly want to argue. I mean, the PG-4s look fantastic in that colorway and most colorways that have dropped. Personally, the Kyrie 6 doesn't look good in any of these colorways. That's just me. I just think there's a bit much going on. The 4, the 5, and now these. It doesn't really bang up for me, personally. I mean, yes, the point goes to the PG-4s. I am in complete agreement, my guy. But let's not downplay the, the, the carries, bro. That colorway, especially in your hand, is clean. Look at it, bro. Come on, man. Nah, you don't, nah, you, it's you've got to show it some love. I can't, bro. They dropped the four, cold, the five, colder, and then this. Let's move on, man. Ooh, right, fair PG-14. Next up, we have the traction. Uh, now this one, again, has to go to the PG-4s. The struggle inspired traction pattern absolutely banged. Dust collection was minimal. The bite was amazing. I mean, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Timmy, help me out. I can't, bro. I really ain't got much else to add to that because it's pretty much all of it. The Kyrie yeah. 6 traction pattern is that all seeing eye traction pattern. Now, Kyrie whole line's about that traction, it's about good coverage, and it was really, really good. It's blades, it's really great coverage, but it just didn't hold a candle to that struggle inspired. I don't know why, maybe it was the circles against the lines, but the PG4 did the madness. 100%. Big, big madness. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you like this video, comment down below which of these shoes you think will come up on top, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and if you want to be a G, hit the bell to stay notified every time we drop a new video. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's free for free for the PG4 right now. I don't think we know why we're discussing this. In the PG4, we're talking about air strobel. Wow, it's clouds under your feet. Wow, Flo, talk to them. I mean, we have, Four foot zoom turbo versus four length Nike Air Strobel. There is no competition here. Thank you. The Air Zoom Turbo did feel amazing, and I do like what they've done for the past two years. I the get it. Line. I hear that. It does feel nice, but 
the, the comfort in this shoe, it really is like walking on clouds. Pillows under your feet, bro. Look, I've got one more thing to say. I just don't get how a four signature shoe has full length something, whereas a six signature shoe has only ever seen four foot or heel anything. That doesn't add up. It does not. Anyway, anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Let me not get mad. This is, this is I'm getting fancy upset. <laughs> Next up, talking about the materials. Now this one again, 444 has to go to the PG4s. These materials were incredible. We have an overall mesh construction. We have a nylon inner booty and some synthetic overlays and also some touches and hints of leather as well. These materials were incredible. The breathability was mad. The comfort, that along with the air strobe unit, Timmy, tell them again, please. Yeah, real quick, I'll get into that because the PG4 was just wonderful. The materials are flexible, lightweight, breathable. That's all you need when it comes to material. You have That's to be able to tip all those boxes. Need. And it did just that. Even with the zipper and the shroud, which some people might think is a bit gimmicky, nah, it smacked it. I can't yeah. say the same for the Kyrie 6. We did get mesh in the forefoot. We are supposed to have a leather, which we did have in your colorway, in the black colorway, we have a plus, yep. a nice leather in the back. But in this colorway and some others, we have the synthetic kind of hologram material, which does provide great support, which we'll get into a bit later, but is extremely stiff, extremely breathable, and is a little heavy on the yeah. heavy side. So all the materials on the Kyrie 6 do kind of add to weight. It just doesn't bang. It's, it's got a bunch of different ones. It doesn't hold a candle to the PG4. Yeah. It just doesn't. Unfortunately, for you. Why are you patronizing me, Flo? Why? Moving on. Up next, the fit. Now the Kyrie 6 takes the cake on this one. Why? <laughs> they were easier to get on. There's, there it is. Yes. They were easier to get on. They held the foot extremely well. The Smith foot strap did its thing, which we'll get more into in a second. They just felt nice on foot. They held the foot extremely well. They're really good true to size fit. Easy to get on. Go on, Flo, say something. Say something. I mean, initially the fit with the PGs is extremely snug. Yeah. and they do break in and mold around your foot the more you play in them. We definitely do recommend that you guys go half a size up with these. But yeah, man, they were a nightmare to get on the first time, bro. And yeah, they are still really comfortable and they do fit well, but this point definitely has to go to the carries. For our next category is support. Now this point definitely goes to the Kyrie 6. Why? Because this shoe has everything a basketball shoe needs when it comes to support. We've got the outrigger shape with the midfoot strap, the overall lockdown and the lacing system. Back here we have materials such as leather and synthetics to add to the ankle coverage really, really well. And even a flat shoe which actually helps with keeping you grounded as well. It really comes together. This is a shifty guard shoe. Just like Kyrie himself, he's really supported everywhere he needs to be. Flo, I don't really know what you've got to say for that to be honest. Yeah, bro. I mean, it, it, it comes down to what the designers had in mind for both these shoes. I feel like both these shoes are for the same type of player. They're both dynamic and I mean, the game is now position this game, but the Kyrie is definitely a shoe uh, made with the with support in mind, whereas the PGs is just definitely about comfort and just feeling, feeling free really. So yeah, it's, it's a no brainer when it comes to support. Now to finish things off, we have price slash value, AKA my favorite category. And this point has to go to the PG4s. This shoe is priced at £105, whereas the carries is priced at £115. Timmy, do you know what that means? Do I? Yeah, well, if I had £115, I'm going to go into cop a PG4 or a Kyrie 6. I'm copping a PG4. Yeah. And get my change. Why? £10 change. Do you know what I'm doing with £10 change? Bro. That's potential socks. That's quick grub. I think that's a McDonald's date. That's potential cheeks, bro. I hate I'm you, bro. The, I'm taking the PG4s. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. And potentially get cheeks. Yeah, okay. PG4s, bro. Definitely get the point. There you go. It's done. So, all right, guys. Looking at all the scores, it's 5-2 to the PG4. Some might say this was a close one. I wouldn't agree. The PG4 is one hell of a shoe. The Kyrie 6 does its thing. But the PG4 is dynamic, it's light, it's comfortable. However, if you are a shifty point guard and you're looking for more of a supportive shoe, regardless of point guard, just more of a supportive shoe, the Kyrie 6 is definitely the shout, 100%.
that is everything from us. Massive shout out again to the plug, aka Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like either of these shoes, make sure you check the description box below. Click that link and check out the website. Enjoy and live life. So, alright, guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike Kyrie 6. This is the Nike PG4. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.